Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Tonight we're at the New York premiere of 99 Homes, where we'll be talking to the director, Ramin Barani, as well as the stars, Michael Shannon, Noah Lomax, and more. So get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Michael Shannon. Just congratulating you, 99 Homes is awesome, man. Thank you. What made you want to get involved with this movie? Well, uh, number one, I wanted to work with Ramin. I think he's a, a brilliant writer and director. And uh, number two, I just thought this movie was long overdue. I mean, this crisis happened a few years ago and, and nobody had really made a movie about it. So I thought the time was now to get it done. As an actor, when you're involved in a movie that is relevant, and obviously the housing crisis was a re very relevant topic, does it give more oomph to, to, to wanting to tell that story? Well, yeah, I mean, there's, there's people that we'll, we'll never see, we'll never hear their voices, and I feel like this movie, it may not tell their exact story, but it tells a version of their story, and without this movie, that story wouldn't get out there, so I think it's very valuable. So much of this movie is you and Andrew together. Talk to me about that chemistry and building it. Well, yeah, we spent about a week rehearsing together and, you know, letting each other know where we were coming from. And then when we started shooting, we kind of went to our corners and came out fighting, you know. I mean, uh, it was a brutal, it was a brutal process, but uh, it was electrifying. Like, I, I was never... I was never bored, I was never distracted, I was always, and I was always fascinated by what Andrew was doing. I mean, he, he brought so much truth and honesty and integrity to his performance that it was impossible for me to take my eyes off him. Talk to me about telling this story with 99 Homes, because it's so relevant and so powerful. Yeah, you know, um, it's, it's about all the people that went through the foreclosure crisis, the housing crisis. Um, it's a story that needs to be told, I think. It's a story a lot of people wanted to hear and wanted to tell. Um, when you hear the word foreclosure, you think it's going to be a, a depressing film, but in fact, it's a Faustian tale. It's a thriller about a very important subject and, you know, really honored to be a part of this. Your two leads, Michael and Andrew, what performances. As a director, when you get performances like that, it's got to be incredible. You know, uh, on set, it was like watching two bulls come out of the ring and just bang into one another. And, you know, you knew on set something special was happening. It's a performance from Andrew we've never seen before, kind of his first adult male role, and he just knocked it out of the park. And Michael, we've never seen him like this. It's a total transformation for Michael. For me, I, I feel he was born to play this role, and I, I want to do ten more films with this guy. One of the things Michael was talking about is this movie gives a voice to the voiceless. That's right. Was that part of, as a filmmaker, something you wanted to happen? You know, we know the foul story, we know Deal with the Devil and Thriller, but we don't know this world. And I like going into worlds I don't know. I like learning about things I don't know about. And you have a lot of people that no one told this story. It was just a, a statistic in the news. But now we can see what it really meant to people. Awesome movie, man. Talk to me Thank about you. getting involved with 99 Homes. Uh, I, I auditioned for it and Ramin gave it to me and uh, you know my I had family that had been through situations with a mortgage crisis and I think I responded to it a lot as a kind of great thriller set in that world so I was overjoyed to uh, to do it. Congratulations on this cast. Talk to me about working with them. Um, you know, I, I, I just think Michael is a kind of great powerhouse of an actor, and, and, and Laura and, and Andrew, I don't know what's going on. They're all at the top of their game, and I think it's fantastic. Phenomenal film. Thank you. you. get to work with Andrew Garfield. It's got to be such a thrill. Yeah, well, it was just such a thrill because any kid wouldn't want to work with Spider-Man. I mean, he's, he's Spider-Man. Come on. You also get to work with Michael Shannon, too, by the way. I mean. Talk about one of the best actors working in Hollywood. As a young actor, what do you take away from working with the two of them? Well, um, they, Andrew taught me a lot just to be natural and, and be in the moment. And um, I didn't really get to work with Michael that much because I just had the eviction scene. We didn't really communicate in that one. But uh, I talked to him offset, and he's just a great guy and just a great 
he's so funny.